Okay, so we're talking about chemicals that make things happen in the body, make things happen in the body in a fundamental way. Everything in the body happens because of cells, and cells get switched on via the activity of these chemicals, these molecules that make things happen. Everything that happens in the body happens fundamentally because a cell does it. You only got two components in the body. You got cells and stuff. I always call it raisin bread, or raisins and bread. Our bodies are built, are structured, are composed in a fashion similar to raisin bread. You got raisins and you got bread, that makes you raisin bread in the body, you got cells and stuff. Okay, that's not really called stuff. It's called extracellular matrix. But I'm gonna call it stuff because that's more illustrative. That's it. That's all the stuff in the body, cells and stuff. And if you got something going on, something going wrong in the body, you've got some kind of disease state, you don't have a stuff problem, you got a cell problem. That's what we mean when we say all disease is cell disease. And nothing happens in a cell unless a hormone tells it to. That's what these chemicals are. They're little molecules that switch things on in a cell. They make things happen in a cell. If we're sick, in terms of a degenerative disease, an illness that doesn't get better, that's what a degenerative disease is. The body typically regenerates. But if we have a degenerative disease, we're not getting better. And a degenerative disease is simply a cell or a group of cells not performing as they should, not doing their business as they should. A cell's job is to make things. Cells make things like a 3D printing machine makes things, and that's, that's the, my latest metaphor for a cell. It's a 3D printing machine. I love this idea of 3D printing machines. These days, you can get 3D printing machines anywhere. On the internet, you can get a 3D printing machine. Office Max has them on sale for like $1,000. 3D printing machines print things, print forks and spoons and widgets and screws and toys and all kinds of stuff. Soon, you'll be able to print food on your 3D printing machines. Cells are living 3D printing machines. How f- Freaking cool is that? Cells are th- living 3D printing machines. Yes, 3D printing machines that you buy on the internet, those are pretty cool. But cells are 3D printing machines that are alive. Cells are 3D printing machines that are three and a half billion years old. The divine force, the life force, whatever you want to call it, nature has figured out how to do 3D printing three and a half billion years before human beings figured it out. A cell is a 3D printing machine and what a, a 3D printing machine and what a cell makes is controlled by a higher power. What a 3D printing machine that you buy off the internet or you buy at Office Max prints is controlled by software. And you can download that software off the internet and that software will direct your 3D printing machine to make a screw or a widget or whatever it makes. Cells likewise are controlled, uh, have a, a, a control feature, they're, they're controlled, a control aspect if you will, that allows them to print whatever they print. And this control factor is, is directed at a cell from a higher power. And one aspect of that higher power is the brain. Our brain uses chemicals to communicate. These chemicals travel to various parts of the body via way stations called glands. So the the brain communicates to glands, and glands send these chemicals off to different cells. Our glands are called the thyroid gland or the adrenal gland or the parathyroid gland. Various structures in the body act like glands, which make chemicals upon direction from the brain. The brain sends a message to the gland. The gland sends a message to the cell. These glands, the parathyroid, the thyroid, and the adrenals respond to the brain signal by making their own communication chemicals that affect all the various functions and products that a 3D 3D printing machine, i.e. cell, is going to make. And we have a special name for these chemicals that come from the glands that turn on the 3D printing machines that are themselves responding to orders from the brain. We call them hormones, and that's what a hormone is. A hormone is a chemical made in a gland upon direction from the brain that activates our 3D printing machines. You can call these hormones a type of chemical communication. They're like words. When you and I are talking, I'm talking to you via words. When we communicate with our friends, our neighbors, our our social circle, we communicate with words. But there's other forms of communication. You can communicate with your eyes. You can communicate with your body movements. Inside the body, communication occurs via chemicals. And these chemicals slash words slash communication devices, we call those hormones. And having enough of these words, having enough of these chemical devices, having enough of these hormones is essential for delivering messages and commands to our 3D printing machines slash cells. And deficiencies in hormones play an important role in all disease and in the aging process itself. It's kind of interesting when you think about it. Hormones are a type of language. Cells secrete chemicals 
and those chemicals go to other cells and, and uh, the other cells read the chemicals and something happens. It's kind of the same way ants drop off chemicals. An ant, if you imagine an ant as a, as a cell or as a cell as an ant, picture how ants communicate. Ants communicate, they don't talk to each other. An ant, but they do communicate and they communicate pretty quickly. How do they do it? They'll drop off a little chemical. They'll secrete a little chemical, drop it out of their butts, drop it on the ground. Another chemical, another ant will come along and see that chemical and will read the chemical somehow. It'll read that chemical and it'll know where the sugar is or where the picnic is or where the jelly is or, or where the predator is and, and, and run off. So these little chemicals that are dropped off that allow ants to communicate to each other are a type of hormone, except they're actually called a fear hormone type of, very special type of hormone. Cells do the same thing. Instead of ants, just like ants drop off chemicals, just like ants drop off fear hormones, cells will drop off chemicals and other cells will pick them up and a message will be sent. Hormones come in various types. Most famous ones come from glands. Those are called endocrine hormones. Those are the ones everybody hears about, but there's lots of other communication hormones, and they all play a very important role in whether or not we're going to be healthy. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 877-300-7645 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Our number today on the bright side, 877-300-7645. We'll get your calls here in just a second. At the bottom of the hour, we're going to talk to Rebecca Rohrer about uh, her history, her background, her story. She built herself a business, a multi-level network marketing business using the longevity products and the Beyond Organic products. She's raising her child on that, uh, on the earnings. And uh, it's just a really inspiring story. I met Rebecca at the at the convention, uh, longevity convention earlier this year, and I was just so inspired by her message, and I wanted her to share it with folks. She'll be talking about how she got involved with network marketing and, and her philosophy on how to build a business at the bottom of the hour. So we'll take your calls here uh, this segment, 877-300-7645. Let's go off to Michigan and welcome Michael to the Bright Side. What's up, Michael? How you doing, buddy? Good, Ben. How are you? Good deal. Good morning. How can we help you today? Yeah, I'm calling my, uh, my wife's been diagnosed with uh, Hoshimoto. Yes, Hashimoto's thyroid disease. All right, a couple yeah, things about, uh, very, very simple, very simple. The thyroid, uh, Hashimoto's thyroid is the most common form of, uh, of hypothyroidism. Hashimoto's, as you probably know, is an autoimmune disease. The body attacks the thyroid, and it's very common. Um, so here's what you want to do. Whenever you have an autoimmune health issue, and I don't care if you're dealing with type 1 diabetes or multiple sclerosis or Hashimoto's disease or any of the 120 or so autoimmune diseases, and there's one out of maybe 12 Americans or so is dealing with an autoimmune disease. That's pretty crazy when you think about it. 20 to 30 million Americans have an autoimmune disease. What does that say about the state of our health? We've got more doctors than any other culture ever in the history of mankind, yet one out of 10 or 12 Americans has an autoimmune disease. What's going on, folks? One out of three Americans has diabetes or prediabetes. One out of three Americans has, uh, is obese or overweight. One out of four or five Americans has some kind of digestive health issue. We've got some serious health problems here. Something is percolating. Something's going on. And it has nothing to do with doctors. So here's the deal for Hashimoto's disease. Number one, it's an autoimmune issue. Whenever you have an autoimmune issue, you've got to focus on digestive health, on the digestive system. And if any boneheaded medical professional tells you, oh, well, you just need Synthroid, or even if it's an alternative health practitioner, and they say, oh, you just need iodine, they don't know what they're talking about. And it's terrible. It's awful to have somebody we trust, like a medical professional, somebody we pay money to, somebody we go to in, in all, all innocence, to help us deal with our health challenges, and they, they send us home with Synthroid, or with, with a thyroid medicine. By the way, the top selling drug, the second or third best selling drug in America is thyroid medicine. What does that tell you? All right, Hashimoto's disease, focus on the gut. That means eliminate problem foods, number one. Do a food diary. Once the thyroid is messed up, every other system in the body can, go, uh, can fall apart because the thyroid regulates everything. So this is extremely serious, Michael. This is not anything to toy around with. Do a food diary, number one. That means uh, to keep track of everything your wife eats, or she should keep track of everything she eats, and then record next to where she writes it down, not by memory. You've got to write it down uh, how she feels. I'm sure you've heard me say this a million times. So food diary, and then eliminate problem foods. The most likely problem foods are the gled foods, the grains, legumes, and eggs and dairy, and also it's usually foods that we love to eat. 
So eliminating the GLED foods, eliminating her favorite foods, that could be a first step, but just kind of keep track of problem foods and then eliminate those. Secondly, get on the BioLumen Nightly Essence today, not tomorrow, today, not tonight. As soon as you get off the phone, call 877-300-7645 and get on the BioLumen Nightly Essence, best probiotic supplement I know of. And uh, if you're, I'm assuming you're not on one or she's not on one. If she's on one, uh, continue taking 100 billion units a day and do uh, maybe uh, three, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. That should be around 100 billion units a day. And eating fermented food can also help. The next thing you're going to want to do is start to patch up the digestive lining. The Z radical or the Fucoidin Z is a little bit better. That helps patch up the digestive lining. You can use aloe. You can use noni. You can use bone soup. Glutamine powder, one teaspoonful in water a day can be very helpful. Um, if she's not a, if she doesn't want to do the bone soup, if she's a vegetarian, mushrooms can have sort of a, a beneficial effect on the digestive tract. We've talked in the past, and we'll continue talking about um, an amino acid called arginine. Well, as it turns out, arginine has a very interesting colleague, and this is something we're going to talk about next week and, and probably the week after. And it's a very interesting colleague that helps the digestive tract repair itself. It's called citrulline. And a lot of folks haven't heard of citrulline, but you sure will be hearing about citrulline. It's getting set to become the next big thing in terms of nutritional supplementation. Uh, citrulline or arginine, maybe a gram or so a day, that can help rebuild the digestive lining as well. So, number one, eliminate problem foods. Number two, use probiotics and fermented foods. Number three, start to patch up the gut. Then as far as directly working with the thyroid, and there's lots of things you could do to directly work with the thyroid. Iodine can be helpful, of course, although it's not, as I say, it's not like a panacea for thyroid health, for thyroid health, but it is, uh, it is important for the thyroid, of course, if she's not getting enough iodine. You can use the nascent iodine, uh, Dr. Group's nascent iodine, or you can use iodorol. I personally like, they're, they're both good, iodorol and and the nascent iodine is good. Seaweed might be helpful. Uh, sea vegetables, etc. Those can all be helpful. Um, let's see what other kinds of things for the thyroid. B vitamins, very important. Make sure she's on the B vitamins. Of course, you'll get that in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. So many things you could do, none of which, none of which involve a doctor. And by the way, TSH and TH and having your thyroid tested, that's just a waste of time, in my humble opinion. Uh, it doesn't really matter what your TSH is or TH is. It matters how you feel. And so don't allow any doctors or medical professionals to, to have you waste your money or your time doing those stupid tests that change anyway. Uh, these tests, uh, all the diagnostic tests are really kind of a waste of money, in my humble opinion, because they're all based on bell curves and statistics and standards. And human beings are not bell curves and they're not numbers and they're not statistics and they're not standards. Uh, uh, we are all biochemically individual, and you can't really go by a, a, a statistical test, which is what these uh, TSH tests and, and thyroid function tests and all, all these diagnostic tests are based on statistics. I hope that helps, Michael. Any other questions, buddy? No, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you, my friend. Also, uh, I, now that we lost Michael, I should also tell you, hopefully he's listening, selenium and sulfur are both, both important for the, for the thyroid, the ultimate selenium and MSM sulfur. All right, Tim and Austin, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, buddy? Tim, do we have Tim? To yes, hi. How are you? Hey, Tim. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? I'm doing well. I had a question about uh, basal, basal cell skin cancers and skin cancer in general. I'm uh, really Absolutely. interested in alternative treatments and prevention. Uh, I have okay. a problem with it genetically, and I just wanted to hear your take on that. Are you, are you fair? Are you a fair skin guy? I'm very, I'm, yeah, I'm Scots Irish. I'm pale, and I work uh, outside, so I'm pretty much okay. in the highest risk category. Okay. But, uh, Got a couple things for you. First of all, to prevent uh, skin cancer shows up in a toxic body. Even though it's on top of the skin, and yes, the sun is involved in stimulating it, you got to keep make sure that the conditions for the skin cancer, or you don't have the conditions that are right for skin cancer. That means making sure you're using your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. I'd be if you have a genetic tendency or it's in your family, uh, I would be using high doses of vitamin C on a regular basis, and then making sure I was getting all the other antioxidants, including vitamin E, especially selenium is also very anti-cancer. There's another really neat nutrient. Uh, this is for killing cancer, or not killing, but for getting rid of uh, a skin cancer. It comes from eggplant. It's kind of interesting. There's a neat article that showed up about 20 years ago in the uh, journal Cancer Letters. I read that about 20 years ago. I haven't heard anything about this stuff. Uh, a little bit I've heard about it, but I'll tell you what it is when I come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. We're back on The 
bright side, we got Rebecca Rohr coming up uh, here in just a couple minutes or a couple seconds. I'm going to finish up with Tim uh, about skin cancer. Uh, we got millions of non-melanoma, non-melanoma skin cancer diagnoses every year. Three or four million people get diagnosed every year. It's certainly an issue. The way you want to take care of it, Tim, uh, I think we still have, do we still have Tim on the line? Tim from yeah, Austin. Absolutely. Okay, so you want to yeah. take care of the you want to take care of the conditions making sure of the body, making sure the body's the conditions of the body don't lead or are not conducive to skin cancer, and that means loading up on vitamin C and vitamin E, antioxidants. Use vegetable juices, vegetable soups. Vegetables contain wonderful anti uh, anti cancer and sun protective nutrients. If you're going to use a sun protection topical, I recommend zinc oxide, not a chemical sunscreen like octomethoxycinamate or oxybenzene zone or any of these uh, really, really significantly nasty sun protection chemicals that are found in sun, sunscreen products, which, by the way, sunscreen products are regulated as drugs. And the reason they're regulated as drugs is because they're toxic. And if you were to eat your sunscreen, you get really sick. So using zinc oxide is the way to go topically. And then as far as taking care of cancer, there's a real interesting ingredient that's found in eggplant, something called slosidine glycosides, or, technical, or that's the technical name, but most people call it BEC. There's a product called Curiderm, which I started hearing about back in the early 90s. And for some reason, I don't hear a lot about Curiderm, but there's really good... Li- I've been trying it. Have you, have you been using it? Where did you get it? I have. Uh, I got it from Great Britain. I had to get it overseas, and it was shipped with a strange uh, legal document because I guess you can't acquire it here for some reason. I don't know. Uh, how it, you got it from Australia, you said? Because that's where it's... Uh, great, it was from uh, Great Britain, I guess, England. Okay, yeah, it's big in Australia, and there's actually some really good literature about it. Um, so I'd be using, if, as long as you have it, use the Curiderm. It's, uh, uh, it's usually used for people who already have non-melanoma skin cancer, but you right. might be protected. I, I do have one. Uh, yeah, I have one that I'm treating that is uh, it's, it's near my eye, which is why I didn't want to have it excised. Uh, so I've been trying this. Uh, How's it working? How's it, how's, is it, it working it for definitely- you? Yeah, it affects the cancer. I mean, it, it starts to, it actually burns, but only the cancerous area, and it doesn't really affect the skin around it much. Uh, it That's irritates awesome. it a little bit, but it, yeah. it has a definite effect. I haven't gotten That's through awesome. the treatment, but... Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. So you already know about that. All right. Well, you're, you're on the right track. Make sure you're using your veggies. Veggies got wonderful, wonderful anti-cancer. You know, vegetables grow in the sun and they never get skin cancer. They never get wrinkles. They just thrive in the sun. And now, why is that? Because they've got these phyto, meaning plant, phytonutrients that help protect them from the sun and they can protect us from the sun as well. Of course, these phytonutrients are fatty for the most part. So you got to make sure your liver's working correctly and your digestive system is working correctly. You got your gallbladder so you can absorb these fatty nutrients. A neat trick to get the fatty nutrients out of foods is to braise or to steam your veggies and then add fat to your veggies, uh, either oils or coconut oil or butter, to kind of pull the flavonoids and the carotenes, these sun protective phytonutrients, out of the vegetables and make it easier for your body to access them. Sounds like you're on the right track, though, Kim. Uh, Tim. Thanks so much for your call. We're gonna uh, we're gonna move on and uh, welcome Rebecca to the bright side. Rebecca Rohr. I met her. I met Rebecca in April, and we started chatting. Aside from the fact that she's incredibly beautiful to look at, she's amazingly inspiring and her story was I just after talking to her for a few minutes I was like Rebecca we got to get you on the air to tell your story about uh, how you how you supported yourself and your family through multi-level and how you made uh, built yourself a pretty healthy business uh, via network marketing uh, Rebecca started off with the Jordan Rubin products and I want uh, Rebecca to get on the air and, and tell her story about how she got involved with with Jordan with the beyond organic line of products and then um, how she got involved with longevity and how she built her longevity business. So please welcome to the bright side, Rebecca Rohr. What's up, Rebecca? Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, somebody told me that you were a, a competitive bodybuilder. Is that true? Well, it wasn't bodybuilding per se. There's there's a category in the bodybuilding world called figure where you do sculpts but you keep it feminine looking. So I never <laughs> okay. got super yeah. scary like you would see. <laughs> there are some scary looking ladies out there in the bodybuilding world, but whatever yes. floats your boat. But you're not scary looking. You're very beautiful. So good deal. Thank you. Uh, all right, so here's the. I want. I, I talked to you for a little bit in last April at the Longevity Convention. That I saw you again in September, and every time I talk to you, I get inspired. So I wanted you to share your story. It's so inspiring, especially for women who are either raising a family or, or they're single moms and they don't want to stay at home. They don't want to go off to work. There's so many opportunities in network marketing. I thought maybe you could share your story. First of all, how did you get involved with Jordan, and, and how did you get involved with the Beyond Organic line of products? You know, 
know, it goes back a little bit, even before Beyond Organic was really a thought, um, to touch briefly. I, When I was 24, I was diagnosed with a really serious digestive disease. I really had a story similar to Jordan's, and it almost killed me. But my first experience with um, Jordan Rubin's uh, message was through that, and utilizing his first book, I was able to find a uh, complete uh, healing through of of my disease, which was said couldn't be healed. So that was my first uh, taste of what Jordan Rubin has to offer. Was it Crohn's Crohn's disease or celiac? What, it, did, you, what did you? It was it was ulcerative colitis. Okay, it was all right. Pretty bad. It was pretty what, bad. Were they giving you steroid drugs and you were going from doctor to doctor? That whole thing. Oh, it was terrible. Steroids, you name it, I was on it. There was a time when my face was. You looked at me, and I was a Stay Puff Marshmallow man. It was just wow. really bad. It pulled a lot from my body, and and you know it was a really tough time because I if I know for a fact if I if I would have continued with the medical route, they would have taken my colon out, all different things. I was given some pretty pretty horrible diagnosis. So, and you weren't a nutrition minded person, or were you? I mean, did you know about nutritional stuff? Okay, you're you just know, a regular at the time. So you were eating regular food and, you know, lunch mm-hmm. meats and uh, all that stuff. And nobody nobody linked the specific foods. Nobody told you to link the specific foods to your issues. You just assumed it was a condition that you had, it, just something you well, had to live with. I ended up going to the doctor, and, and it was diagnosed because it was very severe. And, you know, I was pretty much given no hope, and I lived with it. Um, you know, you live in like a prison in that, and I lived with it for... For years, um, following the medical route, it got worse and worse, and, and really it was, you know, my family, you don't know what you don't know, and we, you know, didn't know, and it was upon someone giving Jordan Rubin's first book to my sister that not only started my path to healing, but started opening up my family's eyes as well. That's awesome. And so how, when did you start, when did you make a business out of it? When did you start to incorporate these, the, the products and the ideas in, in the business sense into your life? Well, the business itself um, came to me, there, there was a portion in my life not long ago, you know, Beyond Organic was launched in November of 2011, and that was Jordan's company. And um, I had gone through a series of my life where before I was, when I was sick, I was in a pretty abusive marriage and um, um, had a hard time escaping that. And really only women that have been in that can understand how hard it is to escape that. But I did, but I left with, I pretty much lost everything in my life down from, I had the clothes on my back and $800 car in Florida without a penny to my name. And wow. and at that same time. And you were a mom? Um, you you know, had a kid too, right? You had a, well, you, it was, it was after that, you know, I still kind of made some bad choices and um, I became pregnant. And then I found myself through that situation um, on government assistance. Um, not knowing what to do, I had I had no hope. <laughs> you know, wow. you don't really know what to do. A lot of a lot of women, you know, I had to sit in the offices in those government. Re- offices. Rebecca, we, we got to take a break. Hang tight. Hang on to that thought, okay? We just got to take a break. Yeah. We're talking to Rebecca Rohr, telling us her story, very inspiring story about how she got involved with the longevity line of products. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. All right, we're back on the Bright Side. I'm Farm Spen. We're talking to Rebecca Rohrer. She's telling us her story about how she got involved with the Beyond Organic products and the longevity products, built herself a business, and is now, I believe, raising a family, raising a couple kids. One, one child or two, Rebecca? One. One, one child. Okay, okay, one and done. All right, continue. Okay. We, got about, we got about five minutes or so. Continue. Uh, let's hear your continue with what you were saying. So you made some bad choices, and uh, you yeah. were on gov- government assistance, and, and then you met Jordan. or you, how, did, how did that all transpire? Well, you know, I actually came across Beyond Organic on the web and uh, saw that it was being launched. And really in that moment, I saw and knew that for me there was a way out. And it gave me that inspiration to know that, wow, somebody like me in my situation can take this and take my knowledge or take my passion, which was, you know, that lifestyle at the time, and actually grow a business and be able to have a life for my son and I. And that's where I started from there with Beyond Organic when it, right when it launched. Did, did you have like a period where you, where you had to go through a learning curve? Did you make money right away? Was it, was it successful? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was, 
it's definitely a learning curve. To be honest with everyone, there was probably more tears of despair than tears of joy when you're first starting out because you put your heart on the line and you want so badly to have make it happen and you have all your dreams that you want. But it's it's hard work. It, it, they don't call it they call it net work marketing, not net lazy <laughs> marketing. So, all right, I got you know, it. But I kept That's doing good. it, and yep. So you muscled through, and then when was it that you started to like turn it around? You started to see some get some positive feedback. You know, it probably it it takes. You know, it's exactly the way they say. It, to be honest with you, in the industry, for me at the time, it took about a year and a half to get to the point where I finally reached the hump and started to see duplication in action to where I actually created an actual replacement income for, for what I needed at the time. That's awesome. In a year and a half, you were able to, to just make a living and do what you need to do strictly through network marketing without ha- yeah. having to. That's pretty awesome, Rebecca. And that, yeah. Was, yeah. that, was, you, that was raising a, a kid, you and your kid, or you were single mom at the time? I was a single mom when I started. I'm I'm no longer a single mom, but for most of that time in my in my career, yes, I was a single mom. Yep. And you and tell how how did longevity how did uh, longevity come along? How did that happen? Well, um, Beyond Organic um, was looking for a new home, and we were blessed beyond belief to become a um, brand of longevity. And I was blessed to be able to be a part of um, the the leadership that helped bring Beyond Organic over. And it, it has been an absolute blessing beyond belief that we have this new home. Now, what's your take? What's your, give me a couple of, uh, couple of ideas. Tell us what you think about the longevity people, the longevity business, the longevity products. What's been your impression, general impression? Oh, gosh. We probably don't have enough time. <laughs> uh, just a couple <laughs> ideas. It, it's been absolutely amazing because it, it we took what we already love and we added in, when you add longevity, you add so many other opportunities that if you can't find a home for something that you're passionate about within longevity, then, then you just can't find a home anywhere because they have everything. And the leadership when we came in was so welcoming and so loving, we felt like we were instantly family. That's and awesome. That's our awesome. dreams became their dreams. Did you feel the family? Could you get a, a sense of the family environment that Longevity supports and Longevity provides? That, and that's, that's what I think of when I think of Longevity. I've been doing it 17 years. Absolutely. And you know, a lot of people would say that with hype or what have you, but I know all the other Beyond Organic leaders are probably saying, amen, you know, preach it. But yes, it was the truth that we, we truly felt embraced. And we weren't sure when we came over, when we went into it, what we would feel like because we were the new kids on the block. And I've, it's, it's just such a difficult thing to describe that I'm sure anyone that starts to get involved with longevity, they're definitely going to feel that same feeling of welcome and warmth. So what would you tell somebody who's on the bubble, number one, on the bubble about network marketing, and then number two, on the bubble about longevity? First of all, what would you tell somebody who's, who's like, I'm not a salesperson, and I don't like network marketing, and that's a pyramid scheme, and all that kind of stuff. What would, what would be, how would, how would you present your story to them? How, what would you tell them in terms of, of, of your history and your background? How would, you, how would you persuade them, or how would you even talk to them about that? Well, I would sell for one. No, number one, we don't want you to sell. You know, at Longevity, it's really not about selling. It's about finding the need. And when you're talking to people and you get to know them, it's about finding where Longevity can fit for them, whether it's they have a health crisis, whether they have the need for money, or whether they want they absolutely love fashion and they could, you know, go with the Marissa Kinzen line. Mm. It's something that we just don't, we don't sell. We just kind of help people see that there's another way. You just switch where you shop and you get paid to do it. You know, we all, we all refer people all the time on Facebook or different things like that. So re- really, I call it a referral-based membership. So in other words, you're not, you're not getting, people aren't getting paid to sell. They're getting paid just to do th- what they'd be doing anyway, recommending products or suggesting that people try this or try that, and then just getting paid for it. Absolutely. All right, now how about, how about in terms of longevity versus other companies? Because there's tons of multi-level companies out there. What would you say to somebody who says, well, like, I'm part of this company or that company? How would you, how would you present the specifics to, of the longevity business or the longevity message? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is I always would tell people, 
I can't believe I did not. I wish I would have known about Longevity earlier. Because even as much as I loved Beyond Organic, when you look at Longevity, all of my customers now can not only buy Beyond Organic, they can buy and, and shop amongst a thousand plus thousands of other products. So my job, I have to find less customers to get more sales because they have so much more variety and ways to transfer mm. their spending dollars with longevity than you do with just, you know, a company that might just sell a protein shake or might just sell the world's next best super juice from the Amazon or, you know, something like that. I mean, just the Marissa Kenzen line alone for women to be able to franchise out your own e-boutiques, basically own your own Nordstrom's, that opportunity wow. itself is one that hasn't even been tapped into yet. Well, now, when, when did Marissa Kenzen come up come come aboard? I can't even keep track of all the stuff that Longevity's doing. When was Marissa? I when think did... I think they launched Marissa Kenzen in April, but it's really fairly recently where they've started to where there there are new clothes. She's got new clothes and new jewelry running out into that that website weekly. Wow, and that's perfect for Christmas too, isn't it? Absolutely. And the business model is extremely, I think, very easy for women. What's, now, which longevity products are you using? What, what's in your, in your qualifying kit? Oh, gosh. Uh, just <laughs> a few. so many. <laughs> just a few. Just I, a couple. Of course, 90 for Life. You're right. You know, I'm on the, the 90 for Life Healthy Body Start Pack, as we all should be. And um, another couple of my favorite products are, let me tell you, the X the new hormone balancer and the new testosterone booster, the X test. Yeah. Those work. <laughs> so nice. I and my nice. husband are on that. Um, I love pollen burst. The new shakes are absolutely amazing. And of course, I'm starting to build my closet full of Marissa Kenzen's amazing, <laughs> very high quality clothes. And which of Jordan's products are you still using? Which beyond organic products? I am products? still using uh, what we call the dairy crack, but also known as a mossy. Um, that's uh, our dairy. cultured. What did <laughs> you call, call dairy, dairy crack? crack? I can relate. I can totally relate to it. Which one do you like? The raspberry? I like the raspberry. That's, I I'm do a like sucker the for the raspberry, that. but typically I mix it with smoothies, so I use a lot of the plain. Very good. All right. That's so cool. So, all right. Give, give our listeners a couple of just words of wisdom about network marketing and how network marketing can, can help them uh, quit their jobs or support, be a supportive source of income for them, how it could be fun as well, how you can meet people. Just a couple words of wisdom as we close the program. To be honest with you, I, after being in this, I don't understand why, why anyone else out there would not want to be involved. Because the fact that you can turn around your income based on how the work that you put into it is, is absolutely amazing. You can totally change your life. You can, you can have people to where you are actually leaving your job, and there's just nothing else out there, no industry out there that can do that. And especially with longevity, you have so many options that if you can't find something that you're passionate about, <laughs> then there's a lot of hope. <laughs> you got to find some passion then in your life. Rebecca, if somebody Absolutely. wants to get a hold of you t just to talk to you personally, are you available for them to talk to? Do you have a website or anything like that? Absolutely. I, I, I don't have a website set up yet, but absolutely they can go to hold of me. Can can I feel free to give out your number? Is that can I give yes, out your absolutely. number? You can give out you can give out my email, you can give out my number. Give, absolutely. Give out your give out your email real quick. All right, it's eat organic. Spell. The number four less. So eat organic four less. Oh, eat or dot com. Eat organic number four less. Eat organic four less at gmail.com. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Look you forward to it. seeing you uh, in Ontario. That was Rebecca Rohr uh, telling us her story. Very inspiring story. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back at you Monday with more good health information on the bright side. Thanks for listening, folks. Have a wonderful, spectacular, beautiful day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.